My name is Captain 37, and in this presentation, I'm going to take you through this paper. Question number one. Which of the following will come first if put in alphabetical order? And we've been given three words, four words. There's black, there's blame, there's blank, and there's blade. The question is, when we put these words in alphabetical order, which one will come first? Is it going to be black? Is it going to be blame? Is it going to be blank? Or is it going to be blade? So what we do is we look at the words. Now, if you look at the words carefully, the first letters for each one of the word is B. So we'll, we'll ignore B because they all start with B. The second letter is L. So we'll ignore L. The third is A. So we are going to ignore A. We are going to take interest when it comes to the fourth letters. There's C, there's M, there's N, and there's D. There's C, there's M, there's N, and there's D. Which one of these letters comes first? Now remember that this is your exam and you should never feel shy to do what's going to help you remember, including singing the alphabetical song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, if that's the way you learned it. So if you look at C, if you look at M, if you look at N and you look at D, which one of these comes first? It's C. C is the one that comes first. After C, there is D. Then there's L, M, N, M. Then there's N. Now, when you look at this, it means that the, of these words that's, that are given here, the one that would come first in the alphabet is this one. And therefore, the answer to this particular question is A. Question number two. Which word will complete the pattern? So there's a pattern, pattern, pattern. How do you pronounce it? Pattern, per turn. That would be pattern, pattern. <laughs> Ask your auntie and your uncle how you pronounce this word. Pattern, pattern, pattern. Look, so we've been given that there's blowing, there's wing. What has happened here is that they have taken away the first three letters. Here, there is wearing, then we have ring. What happened is they took away the first three letters. Here again, it would mean that even us will take away the first three letters and the word that's going to be here is king. Is this anywhere here in the answers? We check. Yes, the answer is B. Question number three. Complete the pattern. Again, ask uncle, auntie, whoever can help you how to pronounce it. So there's a word barren, then there's ban. What did they do? They got the first, they got the first two letters and the last one. So they got B, A, and then they got N. Here, they get the first two letters and the last one. So they got S, H, and N, which is this one here. Here, they got the first two letters and the last one. So E, A, and T, this T over here. For this one, you get the first two letters and the last one. So meaning here, the answer is supposed to be die. Meaning the answer here is B. Question number four. Complete the following number series. So we've been given a set of numbers and there's something that's always done to the numbers and they want us to see if we are able to observe what has happened. So the first number here is 3869. And what follows that is 8, 3, 
nine six. What they have done is that they have twisted. They get this number, put it there, and this number, put it there. Equally, this number comes here, and that number comes there. That is how come it is 3869, then they write 8 first, then 3, then they write 9 first, then 6. Do you see this? This is what they've done here. Okay, and this is what follows here as well. If you look at this number here, it is 7214. What they do is they get 2 first, then write 7, then they get 4, and then write 1. For the one that we're supposed to do, it is 5638. What we do is we start with the second number, which is 6, then write 5, then go to the last number, which is 8, and then write 3. And this is going to be the answer. We need to circle it accordingly. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. And therefore, the answer is C. Question number five. If the following words are put in alphabetical order, which one will come last? And these are the words. Which one will come last? So we, again, it's about the alphabet. A, B, C, D. We're looking for the word which is going to have the letters which come last uh, in the alphabet. So this, this starts with B, this starts with B, this starts with B, and this starts with B. Therefore, we're not going to look at the first letter. The second letter is A, U, O, E. A, U, O, E. Which one of these comes first? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let's put them in alphabetical order. It would be A, then E, then O, then U. This one comes first, and this one comes last. Therefore, the one that would come last is the one that has this particular letter. And which one has got U? The one that has got U is this one. Therefore, the answer to this question is B. Question number six. Drop is to pick as slow is to dash. Hmm. I do not know the answer to this question just now. If you do not know the answer to a question, just make sure you take note of it. So that when you go through your work again, you will not and remember that you did not answer that question. So we'll move on, but don't forget, we'll get back to this question. Question number seven. On a fun day, Luke, Sarah, and Lisa played on the jumping castle. Chevo, Lisa, and John went on a horse ride. Lisa, Luke... And John played basketball. Who participated in all the games? So what we have to do, I'll show you one of the easiest ways of approaching this question. First, you take note of the names of the people that are involved. So there's Luke. So you write Luke. There's Sarah. Or do you pronounce that Sarah? Then there's Lisa. Lisa. Then there's Chevo. Chevo and Lisa. So we won't write Lisa twice because we've already written Lisa. Then there's John. Here, there's John. There's Luke. Okay, so here there's Lisa again. We already have Lisa. There's Luke. We already have Luke. And there's John. Then take note of their activities. So their activities include Jumping Castle. So I'll just write J, C there. Then there's Horse Ride. HR and then there is basketball so I just write BB then I'll tick who took part in which particular activity so Luke Sarah and Lisa played on the jumping castle so Luke jumping castle Sarah jumping castle Lisa jumping castle Chevo Lisa and John went on the horse ride so Chevo horse ride 
Lisa, Lisa also horse ride, John horse ride. Then Lisa, Luke and John played basketball. Lisa, Luke and John played basketball. So Lisa, John, Luke. So now, when you look at the names, which one of these took part in all the games? Or, in other words, which name has a tick under which activity? Is it look? No, that one is blank. It's blank under HR, under horse riding. Is it Sarah? No, Sarah only took part in one activity. Is it Lisa? Yes, Lisa took part in all activities. And so the answer then to question number seven is B. Question number eight. What comes next in the series? There's AZ, YB, XC, YD. Do you see what's happening here? The Z, I need to, and I just need to correct that. Okay, that's not supposed to be. Okay, so let me just read this question. Okay. Question number eight. What comes next in the series? There's ZA, then there is YB. Then there is XC and WD. What is happening here, if you look at the first letters that are being written here, these are letters in the alphabet starting from the last. So the last letters, A, B, C, D, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, R, S, S, T, U. Let's start from you. R, S. T U T U V W X Y Z. Do you see that? That's that's how you see the alphabet. So this is how you ideally write the alphabet. Then the other letters, starting from A, because this let this this question, the letters start from for the alphabet. The some start from the last, and then the others will start from the beginning. That's why there's A B C D. So what we're going to do is we're going to write, this time we're going to write them going up. So A, B, C, D, E, F. We can easily find our answer now. There's A, Z, right? There's Y, B, there's X, C, and there's Y, D. And that's what we have here as well. We have Z, A, then there's Y, B, then there's XC, and then there's WD. The next one is going to be VE, this one. Do we have it on the list of answers? VE, yes, it is here. And therefore, the answer is B. Question number nine. In a dance competition, Chichi danced better than Charity and Violet. Mapalo danced better than Chichi. Who was the best dancer? Hmm, let's see. There is Chichi danced better than Charity and Violet. But Mapalo danced better than Chichi. The answer in this particular question is B. Question number 10. 